In our last episode, the mod pack gods made the world look more scary. No more going out at night. Epic made friends with a gecko. He's very cute. The builders finally got the go-ahead to build the warehouse along the shore and courier huts. The town can almost accept neighboring trade. When I mentioned about not going out at night earlier, here's why. Epic ran into some not-so-happy ghosts. The basement of the player house was completed, at least the main floor of the basement. This concludes our recap. Thank you for all your support, and if you're not already subscribed to Epic, what are you waiting for? Remember to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks. What's up, YouTube? It is Epic Games TV, and we are back at it again for another episode. And we got to do some cleaning up. Uh, we did run into a little raid. Wasn't too, uh, wasn't too big. Only two guys came. So I will uh, plug that in just to kind of give you a little piece of how the raid start off because you didn't get a chance to see the one that we had underwater. But uh, before I show you guys that little footage, let's just run over here and we are going to go build that today. That is the plan. We need to get our restaurant up and running. I am constantly starving. Let's just go put this on here. Eat the last fried berries. So this is what we've done. This is the inside so far. I need to figure out uh, what I'm going to do about the dripping coming from the water up above. And it's awful dark in here, but we're going to put a whole bunch of chests along here. And I did have some uh, upgrades from basic to iron still sitting in a chest over by the boat. So we upgraded a couple of these. I'm going to have to make some more. And then I got the painstaking task of having to empty out those chests and bring it over here. Now, if we were smart, we would have basically added a mod that allowed us to pick them up and bring them over, which, you know, we may do. But the nether portal ended up down here. We're going to make this room look a little cooler. And then we're probably going to go off a little bit in this direction. And, uh, do something a little bit more with this underground base over here. One of the ideas I had, and uh, we'll run over there real quickly because I'm not even sure we can do this. Oh, and I need to fix all the mess I made up here. Did we fix this? No, I haven't fixed it yet. I need to fix all this. I kind of made a mess while we were digging it all out. And all the gravel fell down, so I'll have to fix that. That's an easy fix, though. But uh, over here, just jump across here, we have this like little ravine type thing. And I was kind of wondering, is there a way? I don't know if we can, but we do have some animals and we may eventually one day get a dragon. We're going to need some sort of place to uh, keep them safe. So I was kind of thinking maybe this could be like a little, we could dig it out a little bit more if we needed to. But a way to basically have them fly down and have like a storage area for our animals down underneath here. So it's kind of an idea. But before we do that, we're going to have to uh, get this restaurant up and running. Oh, it looks like we uh, accidentally started it a, a little bit already. So first things first, we're going to run up here and uh, I'm going to show you some footage from our little mini raid that we had. And I'm going to run over here because this is where we're going to have our way down right through here. I need to pop that out. There we go. So now I know how to how to get down there. That's going to pop out right there. Eh? That's actually not perfect but we will make it work we'll put a little trap door up there then we can still use the back door and we'll just have some stairs there okay so you guys can watch a little bit of the fight that happened uh, over in that direction over there and uh, we'll be right back okay we are being attacked and again our food is super low and I can't see. Let's uh, quickly go run and sleep. 
There we go. Now, northeast, I'm going to guess is this way. It's another one of those lizard guys over there. That's cool. Um, I don't think they have broken through. I saw a red mob way over there. Oh, no, I see some guys. Looks like they're coming in above us. There they are. Oh, one shooting. Okay, let's get you. The Norsemen are attacking us. Okay, that was pretty easy. Where was their camp? Is it down below? There's another mob up there. I'm not sure we really want to go. Oh, there's their camp right there. Okay, it wasn't that fantastic, right? Pretty simple, two mobs. So besides that restaurant over there, we're going to have to start thinking about, well, some more residents. We're going to upgrade the one resident we've currently got up. Let me eat some food over here. Let's see how our guards are doing. Uh, we're going to need one more guard tower. If you look at the mini map, you can see this is kind of why we added journey map to the pack we were just using the one that we got from uh, ftb chunks but we've decided to add journey map and you can kind of see where we need to expand i need at least one more tower and if i place one tower here it should be able to because if you look at this here we have a tower and it goes three blocks and it goes three blocks that way. So if I put it here in this corner, it should go three blocks there, just leaving a little bit of the uh, outside edge here. One, two, three. So we would be missing that. But as soon as we upgrade it, it should uh, encapsulate that. And then we go one, two, three. It should cover a pretty good chunk. Then we need to maybe think about putting one... Let's see if it was here, one, two, three, maybe over in this corner. And then that should get us, you know, a pretty good chunk of over here. And then another one, you know, somewhere around there. But as we upgrade stuff, uh, we should be able to move or put up um, new towers and just place them a little bit better. We are eventually going to want to have a little wall also. So that will be a thing. And I'm not sure how easy it is going to be to wall in this whole place. But, and then uh, if we still need more room, we could just build a bridge across over to the other side here and start building up there. But that is what we're going to do so far. Now, I just want to check up on this tower. I'm pretty sure this is two, a level two now. Yeah. So we're going to have to get the other one up to a level two. I'm going to just go lime flower. I'm going to upgrade this guy. And we need to hire a builder. So I guess we know our priorities. We'll get the restaurant up and we're going to have to do some residence, which means I'm going to have to clear a lot of this stuff out. And I also think what we need to do is capture a, a fern and some grass. And we'll put those also into uh, hopper pots because we're going to need this stuff. I don't know if a large fern will work, but regular fern, some regular grass. And uh, we'll grab those. We've already got the poppy. So these are okay to be uh, killed off. We've already got dandelions. I don't know if I grabbed any 
of these azure flowers yet. But uh, we've got tons of flowers all over the place. Oh, what is this? Mugwort plant. Not sure what that is, but uh, I'll pick these up because they may be needed for something in the future. So we may have to grow them. Okay, so it was also suggested that maybe we should fill this in. And I'm kind of thinking, um, yeah, maybe. But not completely fill it in. I'm thinking about just coming up to like this level here and filling it in. And then uh, filling this in as much as I can to kind of block it. So just have the water show up down here and that's it. So kind of keep it even with this area that we currently have over here. So what level is that? That is uh, level 70. And then we'll basically make this hillside. We'll just mimic the hillside as much as we can. So that's another little project to go do. But this is Aztec and this is ancient Greece or not Aztec, but uh, ancient Greece. And they had uh, water ducts or water canals or something like that, you know, up in the air to help bring water to the field. And I'd like to incorporate those also. I'd like to get some, some of those built. And now I do know that they have them. I am not sure what they look like. We could probably just go take a look right now. Let's see, decoration, harbor, plantations, farms, field sloped. Oh, that dude just scared me. Oh my goodness. Okay, hey, what do you have for sale? Bucket of puffer fish, we don't really need. Uh, tomato seeds, we have tomatoes. You got glowstone on the go. We really don't have anything. Oh, what's this? Artisan relic. I do not even know what that is. Saves you a lot of experience points. Allows you to create new alloys soon. Um, we can make these into villagers. We do have uh, village artifacts. So if we look up contract, we could turn him into a villager. Except for I don't have any feathers, I don't think. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. We need some feathers. Okay, let's just jump to our restaurant build, and we'll be right back. Okay, the restaurant is done. Our guard is sleeping <laughs> while standing. But uh, the restaurant's done. We don't have a 
a staff member yet for it, but it's got a little bit of seating on the outside. Some storage over here, a furnace, the uh, actual restaurant block, another furnace. And then they had this little spruce trap door to kind of keep this area all nice and private so they can go work. Oh, bless you. I think I had a loud sneeze. And then it looks like up in the attic, they have an actual storage rack and another barrel and well, another barrel. I do not know what that says. What does that say? Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I do not know what that says, but it does lead to the back. So maybe it says emergency exit. I don't know, but that is the restaurant. Now I'm not sure what their next building is. It might be this right here. 23 dirt. Oh, we got lots of dirt. We can probably help you with that. Let me just quickly go over here, grab some dirt for them. Let's grab that out. I wonder what they are building. There you go. Um, it doesn't say here what they're building. So go in here and see what it says. They are building, oh, they're upgrading the residence. I do have some oak plants on me. Andesite stairs, 10 barrels, a cauldron, 92 dark stone. We we're talking about uh, putting grass in a hopney botany pot. This is kind of why it wants 26 grass. Um, so we need to go get some more oak stuff done. Puppies, really pretty easy. 67 more stripped oak logs. Yeah, pretty easy stuff. Um, you know, that kind of makes me think that Maybe we should upgrade that to a tier three. Oh, hey, we have uh, a visitor. Arston. Let's go check out who Arston is. They have a very interesting skin. Oh, let's go say hi. So these visitors are usually people who are patrons to the Mine Colonies team. Good to see you. And all they want are three iron axes. Former military advisor and general of the Draconian Army. I can offer my expertise to run and strengthen your army. I would really like that. I don't know if I have the space for you. See if we can make three iron. I just burned all my food, didn't I? Well, I still got some of this stuff on me. Okay, we'll get that all eaten up, and then we want. Oh, we don't have any sticks in here. Um, no sticks, but I'll take those. And I'm not sure where the iron is either. There's some more of that roofing we can bring over. Maybe I burned up all our iron. Okay, let's go get uh, some stuff to go make some iron bars. Take a stack of that. Okay, I do not have enough sticks on me. Okay, we'll take this one stripped. 
because we are going to need to make some stripped, uh, stripped wood also. Let's go get some iron bars going here. We'll make some axes. There we go. Got lots of axes going. Now, she may not join us because we don't have room for her. But we're going to try. Oh, right away. Oh, hey. Good to see you. Good day to you. I'll take care of her. It's weird. She has uh, a male voice. So what will it be for you? Uh, I just had to stay in your colony as a citizen. They quickly switched out of their traveler's gear into some new clothes to fit in. Oh. They are becoming a cook. What's it today then? Sounds good. Um, I guess we're going to have to get you uh, started as a cook. Fuel will have everything off but charcoal. turn charcoal on and we can turn on regular coal because we can always make more of that okay so that's a fuel taken care of and then for smelting recipes let's just teach them um, that so they can make us some big potatoes. It's a fine morning. And uh, the people just have to live off of some big potatoes temporarily. But at least they're going to have some food. And that's the uh, important part. So we'll run back down here, get them some coal. And then at least we can feed our, our the masses, right? There you go. She's got it cooking. Okay. So that's going to get it started anyways. That's cool. Okay, I think with that, we're going to call this a quick little episode. I am going to do the moving. I got to move all that stuff into the bottom of our player building. And uh, build another guard tower. But I'm going to upgrade also this. But uh, we're going to get some housing up. We're going to need, you know what, while we're standing here talking about housing, let me fix this because... The block state is wrong. There we go. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes the uh, block state when you're building does not sit properly. Uh, like this wall here. This is just a matter of uh, it not having the right block state. All we have to do is just chop it all down. And... Uh, just replace it. There you go. Now it looks like the way it should. Pretty simple. Okay. Why is that all messed up? I also would like to get rid of this forest moss. This stuff is uh, really slowing us down. Okay. I got a lot of work to do. I got to move all this stuff over here to underneath there 
And then I got to look at this stuff here and this stuff here and move it over there. So I'm going to go do that while you guys are uh, relaxing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me give you guys the Ultra Seeker backflip. Here we go. And a lovely wave. Okay. I'm Epic Games TV, and we are out of here. Take care, folks. Thanks for watching.